Um, if I'm multiplying, remember how we said for subtraction, we always want to subtract the larger number from the smaller number, right? When you're multiplying, you always want to make sure that you're multiplying your smaller number by your larger, just kind of as well. So I'm not going to want to rewrite it like this. I'm going to want to rewrite it as 2.3 times 1.38, all right? And again, it's helpful to align the decimal point. However, it's very important for us to understand, unlike addition and subtraction, where that decimal point just kind of goes vertically, that's not going to be the case for multiplication. All right? But always multiply your larger number by the smaller number. All right? Then notice that we have a missing place value. So I'm going to include that in as a 0. All right? Now we just go through the multiplication algorithm that we've worked on last class period. Forget about even that there's decimals. I'll show you what to do with decimals in a second. So 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Put in your place value. Then move over to the next digit. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2, Three times two is 6. Now bring in two place values. And work to our last digit. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. And 1 times 2 is 2. All right. Now we add vertically zeros, 4, 17, um, 8, 11, 3. All right. Now, where exactly does the decimal place go? For, for multiplication, this is a very helpful tint. So we include that place value. All I want you to do is add up all the place values to the right of the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3.1740 would be your final answer. All right? Yep, absolutely. So you align them, right? So for multiplication, you align them, just like you did before, and always multiply the smaller number on the bottom, just like subtraction, right? Then you multiply just how you guys did multiplying with multi digits. Multiply, you know, do the algorithm, make sure you have the place values, add them all up. But then you have this huge number down below. So to determine how far you need to go to the left, starting here, moving to the left to find the decimal point, just count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Now remember, I included that 0, right? Because the original problem didn't have a 0 there. So I wrote in that 0 to make sure that everything had something to multiply by, right? So therefore, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why I moved 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces over to give me 3.17. OK? And one last quick example.